Morning folks, and here, and welcome back on board Potemkin. It's a lovely day out here, a bit overcast, but spring's here. Oh, all life's going on, nature's going on out there. So, right, finally going to get this fitted here. We've got water filler cap, a breather, And there's a bayonet fitting for the hose that goes into the tank. We're going to get that done. We've got to drill holes for this. We've got all saw set here. We're going to drill holes for that. And then there's three holes on there. That, so we've got to drill and tap that bulkhead. Take them. And then the breather. It's just a hole. Probably 20 milli or something. Just one hole through. And then there's a nut on back to keep it in place and I suppose you just cut this off to whatever length you want but I think we'll want it all anyway so we we'll on with that right, so we're good to go here yeah. we'll pull this bit in on first and then off with the pipe up there and we'll just mark out the first to go through anyway and there's nothing on the other side it doesn't matter don't want it too low, so I'll probably be somewhere here. I'll be sitting down here, out of here, take it out of the way. I'll use PTFE tape, which is the white tape, so I get to wrap around the threads and it crushes when someone was at all. So I think a comment uh, which, uh, from Martin, so thank you, Martin, for letting us know that uh, he, Martin's a uh, heating engineer. Uh, he knows what he's on about. Uh, he, he was recommending not to use PTFE tape, it's a uh, And uh, it means PTFE means plumber's tape for everything. But uh, Martin said anyway, so thanks for that. But there's no Martin, and he said uh, use a thread like serum. Now, I was aware of Loctite, and do we use Loctite on uh, various. Thing if you tilt and it looks up and got someone having a rock type on it, and it was different rock type. Anyway, that's no use for this, but I wasn't aware of another rock type that you could use on so potable water and all that, but you wouldn't know it. So, then you call rock type 577. Now, I tried to get some, and I couldn't get any from uh, where we could get rock type from, we ain't got that. Uh, so, it is asked me what it was for, have you? So, it's a little product. It should work as, as well as that. And it's this uh, called True Blue. And it's like a thick comb. <laughs> and it's got PTF. It's a PTF. Is it PTF? Something. It's a PTFE, it's a PTFE, and it's a vibration resistant serum, fed serum. So I can't get that 577, but I've got this, uh, and the fact that it's vibration resistant for uh, a useful characteristic on it, because you do a bit of vibration on these boats, you know. I feel the bag into a bank or something. But yeah, I've got vibration from the engines all the time, you know. So we're going to use this stuff instead. Um, I hope it's as good as the Loctite 577 Martin. So anyway, it's not so I can get a hold of it. You simply paint it on your threads. So we'll put that on first, and then we'll get drilling. light work of that they're really good these it's a uh, abrax cobalt an eight percent cobalt in you know, something they make a world of difference to high speed steel ones they just eat through steel 
and they last a fair amount of time as well. Now we'll swap over. That was 57 mils diameter that. That's like two and a quarter inches ish. ish. And this one is a 25 mil one in hole. So, so these just swap over. They're excellent uh, drills, these. Got the wrong harbour. Smaller drills. Just have a smaller harbour. So you'll have that through. What I ain't got is any blooming oil. You put oil on when you're fitting. I'll be well done with The flashing off the back, that's the sharp edges. So that's six milli plate there, and it went through it easy enough. It'd have been better if I got some cutting fluid on it or some oil. So that's that done. We now need to get out there, drill and tap the holes for the water in. And that just pokes through and tightens up on the back with a nut and then we'll use uh, push fit fittings and plumb it up. Wants to tea on it, but uh, I seem to have left it. So we can plumb that one into there though. <laughs> Right, so we'll use this thread lock. The high gooey stuff. Up to it. That's the thing that finished. Right, so I need to clear that to the air, but I haven't got the fitting of what the damn thing. The um, elbow. There we are, all done. Filler and breather. They'll be coming off again when it's painted. Mm -hmm. 
inside to be the made up. We've just got to connect up to that inlet and that's, that's made up for today. That's uh, another job off the list. And uh, time to get this tackle out. We'll have a couple of hours piking, perching, uh, see what we can get, see if we get some dinner. Okay, folks. So we've got the pipe on. We've put a jubilee clip on the bottom. <coughs> I've now got the bend. So it comes with uh, jubilee clips already on it. So we're going to simply screw it to that one and then screw it onto the pipe. And we'll mark it off first for the length. <laughs> Right, that's really got a grip of them. That solid as well, rubber on rubber, and it's solid pipe, and that's got a good grip there. But what I will do, just as belt and braces, I'll uh, use some, um, what they call it, it's like a high strength silicon around these joints, so there's no danger then, is there? But no danger with that really, but that will be doubly sure. So what we'll do now is we're going to remake these joints up down here and then um, we'll get all the pipe and fill the tank back up so the bolt levels up a bit. <laughs> Right, we can see the witness mark down there. That's how much this boat's come up at the front. So we'll put some water in and see how far it goes down. I mean, it will go back to that level if it was, uh, that's because the tank was full. So it will go back there. Right, while we're letting that tank fill, we'll get this little hole that we're no longer using because that's where the sump pump used to empty out oh sorry the bilge pump emptied out and we, it's now inside the cabin and what will be the bedroom i've just cut a slug with the hole door and we're going to weld that in there and then fill the little hole middle yeah, job out Right, that's that little job done. I couldn't get in right with angle against, you know, I don't want you to feel my point down hill, but it's all, it's, it's sealed up, so it's fine. I can smarten all that up when it comes to preparing it for painting. And then we have well down the inside as well, so it's fine, it's solid. So we'll sort that little situation out, like I said, when it's going to be prepared for painting. So, we're still filling up, looking at the time, it's been running that water now for 25 minutes. There's a lot to get in there. And it's sound, it's dry, so <laughs> that's a result, it don't leak. <laughs> right, we'll have a look how far it's come up. So the back's come up about four inches there, oh, maybe three inches, I'd say. It should settle just below that rubbing streaker believe 
So the front's gone down, same, about three inches or something. And dries a bone down there, that's the main thing. So I'm not sure how much is actually in there, but that's been running for an hour and 20 minutes now. I know it's relative to the how much water's coming out of the pipe, but it's a lot to fill up there. That might only be about halfway there or something like that. Maybe two thirds of the way anyway. That's it, I've got to get off now. So I'll have to fill it up next time I come down, I'll just put it on and let it fill up. So that's it for this one. So thanks everyone. Thanks for messages and comments and thanks for watching and I uh, hope it's been of some use to some people if you can pick up any tips or see if I do things wrong and you don't make the same mistake. Anyway, that's it now. Ta-ra!